Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, July 27th. It's the 10th week after Pentecost and week 4 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 1 and Acts chapter 1 verse 1 to 14. And please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Enter God's gates with songs of joy, with praises to God's courts repair, and make it your divine employ to pay your thanks and honors there. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Hallelujah. Psalm 1. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but whose delight is in your law, and in your law do they meditate day and night. And they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers that brings forth fruit in due season. And their leaves shall not wither, and whatever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind blows away. And therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For you know the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed are they that walk not in the counsel of the wicked. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The Promise of the Holy Spirit In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God, while staying with them. He ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with the water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And so when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. 
When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up in a cloud, took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem, from the mount called Olive, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas the son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for all the blessings that you have granted us, especially jobs for Robert and Jenny and Brian. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for St. Peter's Parish, for all who seek you, tender God, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses, that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of ourselves, our families and friends, the church and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire, Peter and Benedict and Mary Magdalene and James and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We delight in your law, O God Most High, and walk in your ways. Grant us your blessings, and may all our endeavors find favor in your sight and prosper. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.